Stay-at-home orders are now in place in eight states, and all Americans have been warned against holding large gatherings. But not everybody is listening. California beaches were crowded over the weekend. New York's Prospect Park was also busy, even though the state has more cases than anywhere else in the country. Governor Cuomo made it clear that is not okay. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, is reporting from, Man from his Manhattan home. David, we understand the rules have gotten more strict since yesterday. Governor Cuomo, not happy. He's not playing around, Gail. Listen, you've heard a lot about New York, California, and Washington, and for good reason. This morning, we're going to tell you about Louisiana. Two weeks ago, the Bayou State had zero cases confirmed. As of this morning, they are closing in on 900. We'll take you to Louisiana for that. But as Gail said, we are going to begin in New York, where the governor has said all non-essential gatherings, no matter how many people are involved in it, no one can gather together. The always bustling New York City is practically a ghost town. Most businesses have closed and the streets are nearly empty. And there are similar scenes around the country with deserted tourist destinations in Atlanta, Georgia, all the way to California's Hollywood Walk of Fame. Still, the governor of New York says he's personally seen parks crowded with people, despite an order that he gave to stay at home. It's insensitive, it's arrogant, it's self-destructive, it's disrespectful to other people, and it has to stop, and it has to stop now. Over the weekend in California, some people were still hiking and sunbathing, even though there's an order there to stay at home too. California, along with New York and Washington State, are starting to get federal disaster funds for mass care and other emergency programs. Some hospitals have set up tents in the parking lot to start triaging people before they even walk in the door. COVID-19 is affecting people of all ages. Take 44-year-old David Latt. He's a marathon runner and lawyer who founded the widely read blog called Above the Law. He's now on a ventilator at a New York City hospital. At first, doctors thought he might have the flu, so they sent him home. It turned out to be coronavirus. His husband last spoke to him three days ago as David was in the ICU. He didn't sound great. Um, you know, he couldn't really talk for more than two seconds. So I just said hi. He said he wasn't doing great. Said I love you. He's in isolation. He is. Health professionals in some states continue to be worried about how the request to get more medical supplies and federal dollars are getting prioritized. Take Louisiana, for example. More than a million people visited New Orleans last month for Mardi Gras. Now, Louisiana's governor says, according to a study from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, that state has the fastest growth rate of confirmed cases anywhere in the world. I want the nation to know how important it is and Louisiana needs help. Dr. Rebecca Gee says Louisiana is set to become the epicenter of this pandemic when you look at cases per capita. Uh, listen, before I toss back, Anthony, I want you to know that private companies are volunteering to help produce supplies and equipment. President Trump said yesterday that Hanes and 3M are offering to make masks. Tesla and Ford have offered to produce ventilators. And Bacardi, based in Puerto Rico, is shifting some of its production to make hand sanitizer. All right, David, thanks.